Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Just Free coming at you with another video. Feel free to hit the like, share, subscribe. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Um, hopefully I won't get a copyright strike because it's a sister sister. I've been watching them all weekend. <laughs> um, so I wanted to get into a little bit of Liz's life. Um, it's been a minute. Because everybody, as usual, you know, has been putting out great content, excellent commentary. Shout out to all the reactors. Um, no hate, no hate, no hate. So, um, I want to use my reliable source, Lipstick Alley. Li, 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 li. Um, <laughs> forgive me, y'all. I know um, it, it needs to be deleted from my so, I am going to work on not saying, um, ever again, okay? So, y'all bear with me and hold me accountable in the comments, will ya? Um, there, there it go. <laughs> so, anyway, okay, so, where do I even want to start? Okay, so, I'm going to start with this shady read from this, uh, shady Esquire person. Shout out to you, whoever you are. More than likely you assist. Hopefully it's not a man. <laughs> Getting into this drama. So this is a read um, for, see, I'm going to count every time. <laughs> this is a read for Liz Life. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so here it goes. So apparently, I guess Liv made a video where she caught somebody jealous. As usual, you know, that's her M.O. Everybody always jealous of the big fat whale sitting at home on the couch, eating bonbons and smoking hookah all damn day. Girl, boo. Anyway, so Shady Esquire says, jealous, a thread full of women that can not that can sit down and talk shit while still getting paid and not peanuts either. Jealous of a beach baby whale looking hoe that ain't got an MF and pot to piss in. And needed other folks' names to rent a window to throw it out of. Women who had their high school diplomas and college degrees handed to them on a stage. Jealous of an mf -er that had to wait for money from YouTube. What? And order a GED that came through the mail. Yes, yeah, sis. I got my high school diploma and a nursing license. So, I've been on stage at least twice. <laughs> These mf -er women are raising and have raised. Every baby that came out of their coochies, as well as women who are raised to other folks, sometimes kids, what? Better than the females who birthed them are jealous of a big old filthy pissy imbecile that got her kids snatched away without even putting up a fight. What? Whether I F with them or not, I'm willing to bet. Child. <laughs> he said, bet my clit that Olivia can't hold a kid. And so, to any one of them, jealous my ass. Listen, I, you know, I don't know anybody personally, but I can pretty much guarantee at least uh, the three that I listen to regularly, and no, that's no shade to anybody else. I'm just, the three off the top of my head seem pretty stable to me, bitch. Got two out of the three married and one, you know what I'm saying? She seemed to be living her best life with her little boom boom, her little boo boo bam bam. Oh, and, um... Storm too. What the hell? What the, I mean, ain't nobody like I said. I said before, and I say it again. Like, bitch. First of all, I don't even get paid for this shit because I ain't, <laughs> I didn't reach the mark of a thousand sub subscribers. But ain't nobody. This I mean, what do you think? People just came on here and, and decide they was gonna make a living off of Olivia. No, bitch. It's called supplemental income. It's called, you know, my gas money or my fucking, you know, go out to eat money. The ones who, you know, who make a nice little coin that have parlayed this shit into something like Mel B. Rose and, and or, um, you know, whatever Yanni got going on. Pardon me. I really don't. Um, I think, she, you know, she got t-shirts and shit. And, and Fran, you know, Fran, shit, she, whatever she doing. You know, she says she make a cute little coin. I mean, it ain't nothing that you, you know, you could, it, it's not like you buying, they not buying houses and shit just yet anyway, motherfucker. 
and, and, and you know, but it's still a, a nice little piece of change. So, but it's not like they, you know, if they didn't have it, that they would be destitute. You know, I mean, come on now. Like, motherfuckers ain't making a bag off of you because they destitute. That's It's called extra. It's called supplemental. It's called, you know, let me buy me a purse or a pair of shoes, bitch. That's what it is. And whatever else they got going on. I don't know. Um... So she goes on, baby, I raised every kid I birthed and we fed them all well, kept them clean. Our middle kids who are 16 year old twins drive a newer and better vehicle than Olivia that doesn't backfire or stall. My titties are sitting up at attention (laughs) instead of blocking my navel like hers. I can see, I can see my pussy when I put my neck and look down without using a mirror. <laughs> when I walk, my husband walks behind me in my in the wake in what in my wake, and when I say jump, oh, that ever gives me visual examples of just how high his ass is going to go. Yet you're saying I'm jealous of a big broke bitch that I can buy and sell who can't even keep a registered ex offender. Gerard will not suffer because he isn't the only. Or he isn't the one who let his children drag in order to run behind pine scum and act like a monkey on camera for pennies. That's what I don't get. My thing is this, like, bitch, you come on here, show your ass. Now, granted, like, I guess, like, at one point, you know, when she first started and every, um, or what have you, when the thing broke out with her stronger mommy Christy, she had got a nice little coin. Like ten thousand dollars or some shit like that for the month, the most ever money has she ever seen in her life. The most, you know, that most people ever seen in their life. But bitch, you couldn't, you couldn't keep it going. You still ain't parlayed it into nothing. A bunch of dummy businesses that you ain't even, ain't even got nothing going on. Even a fool can see that you're tooting power powder from the same mirror. As that sorry MF her name Olivia. Let me update my ignore list. For... Oh shit! Wait a minute. I thought this was to... was to Olivia. Who was this to? Well, I'm gonna just say it was to Olivia. Cause that's a read, honey. That's not like an Olivia read. <laughs> So, um, god damn it, I can't not keep saying it. Um, let's see here. She's writing a book. Now, shit, I'm going to have to go back and listen again. It's worth the listen. Liv went live at 2 a.m. eating crab. Liv says she's reporting people for cyberbullying. She told her supporters to report videos. Here she go with this bullshit. She got... More than enough time to be on here talking about this dumb shit, reporting videos. Bitch, make you some videos and going about your business. Like, entertain your subscribers. That's what they there for. Like, what the hell? If I was a vlogger and had a following, like, I would just make sh- I would be so focused on them and what they want from me. You, I mean, it seemed like she be more focused on, on the reactor. Liz says Stella is there with her. We knew that bitch couldn't be by herself with those children. She's unstable. And where in the hell else is Stella going to go? I'm sure she's going to have to go and report Fran today because she infiltrated the chat. I'm too tickled because I know that bitch going to be mad when she wakes up around 2 p.m. Ah! There's some other stuff, too. I can't remember. I think Fred said the video is up, but that bitch will never get a click from me unless I can catch her in a live, and then I only have shit to say to lower her self-esteem. P.S. This is the regurgitation of the other pay-for-play thing she had going on. Ooh, child. <laughs> um... Okay, she's a special kind of stupid. She's writing a book. Oh, yeah, she did say she's writing a 
So she writing a book. And what the hell is the book going to be about? Everything that's already online that you could just Google? I mean, go to YouTube and look up? Girl, ain't nobody paying for you to be writing your ABCs in a coloring book, bitch. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what is that? She gonna write a coloring book talking about she writing a book. What is this? I don't know if that's supposed to be named Mercury and Renegade. All right. I missed the joke. Sorry, I don't know. I missed it. Um, girl, that read was good to my soul. He is sad as a man. He can sit by her side for his allegedly fate. Um, Yanni said that Gerard or Anisha reached out to Liz when they found out she was coming to Texas for them to have a powwow and clear the air for the sake of the children. She kept it moving and never responded to their attempt. Liv came on a mission and it's to disrupt whatever peace Gerard and Anisha have. Liv has been trying to see Gerard face to face, but because Nisha was involved, she wants no part. Fat ass is going to have to get used to it because Nisha is the fiance. And her kid's actual mother. <laughs> oh, yes. That's what I wanted to talk about, too. I came across this reaction channel. I love what dude says in response to Olivia saying Nisha is number two. He said, no, she is the new number one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I never, I didn't get a chance to watch it because, child. Hold on, let's see what's going on. So I like this girl though. I like well, I forget her name. What is it? Asia or something? I like her. But no, it doesn't phase me anymore. Good evening. I just hate when somebody try to act like they so above and they so over the bullshit. But it's obvious that you that you're not. And instead of just being real with your audience and saying, hey, you know, I'm really hurt. My kid, I miss my kids. I know I fucked up. Um, but at least they, you know, but they're with their dad. And I just want to make it a peaceful, you know, uh, co-parenting situation. So I'm going to apologize and do whatever I got to do, humble myself as a woman and, you know, try to make things right. I did a lot of shit out of anger and bitterness and, you know, whatever, pride, whatever, my ego, whatever. But no, not her. Child, not her. She said, not me. So this Shady Esquire says, girl, just because folks choose to talk shit about a person who put their lives uh, out here for public conception definitely doesn't mean it's because of jealousy. And I can only imagine the type of people that think it is. I mean, yeah. So let's talk about that for a second. Like, you know, people, I mean, people act like, like even the people that come on Kendra G show. I always see somebody in the comment section talking about, Block this person, delete that person, you know, how dare they say that, you are so judgmental, blah, they blah, I don't understand why y'all so judgmental, bitch, if you come on a goddamn platform where possibly millions of people have differences of opinion, then obviously... You know, all the opinions are not going to be well received or well, I mean, it's not going to all be positive. So, 
I mean, it's just like the old saying goes, six the stones bear my bones. Where did I have to go? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> six the stones may hurt my bones, but names will never hurt me. Is that how I say? <laughs> I forgot something like that. I don't know. It sounds weird, though. But anyway, I mean, shit. People are going to say a whole lot of shit. Like, you just ignore the so-called haters and keep it moving. And some shit be real. And people just don't want to hear the real. So, somebody come on, Kendra, that's fat as hell. You know, talking about they got two baby daddies or t- and two toddlers. Like, bitch, if you don't get out of here and go lose some weight first before you come on here talking about... And you looking for a man? But anyway, that's all of the story. Um, even if a font is ten centimeters deep in Olivia's ass, and they hear that beast talk about jealous haters, they should have enough discernment to know that nobody is jealous of such a ratchet person. Like, what? What is it that he jealous about? Does she own a home? Do she own her vehicle? Do she? I mean, do she make ten thousand dollars a month or something? I, you know, I'd like to know what I'm jealous of if I'm going to be jealous now. Because, child, sitting in front of a camera with eyelashes on that look like Snuffleupagus, talking about you going on a divorce party, and you going to meet the man at the hotel, and he paid for the hotel, and, girl, if you don't shut up, I can't wait to get, let me get to the part about the date, honey. Um... So, this person says, this bitch want to be Mexican so bad. Anyway, she's sitting up there saying my man would never blah, blah, blah. Firstly, she don't got no man. But if she did, most likely, most definitely be by his side running her mouth talking shit like, girl, boo. Also, the fuck the Stella dumbass had to bring her meds, vitamins, <laughs> like she is already in the psych ward. She does look like a big funky dumbass. She is the only person I've seen to have so much alone time with a seven-month-old. Um, so, it says, I love how she refers to Nisha as number two, that she could never be a number two. Girl, everybody, somebody number two, three, four, and five. What are you talking about? By that logic, she'd be selling for a number two and a man that chooses to be with her baby making filthy ass with multiple baby daddies. She wants to downplay the stepmommy, but she thinks the stepdaddy is any better. She yells out this shit to convince herself of her delusion and her handful of minions that are so desperate for attention. Any man that will hook his wagon to her train wreck of a life deserves the shit she shovels. I know that's right. And as far as her, you know, um, dating and what, oh, that's, oh yeah, that's John. Um, as far as her dating and everything, and I said this before and I'm going to say it again, bitches like her, don't confuse sexual attention for a man that really is willing to wife you up, bitch. That's not the same thing. Anybody, any man will have sex with you. And even the ones that like big girls, but they will not. You know, like they used to, like they said that Usher like big girls on the low. You'll never see Usher in public with a big bitch. Period. Um and especially a sloppy ass one. You it, it, so be very clear. Sis could get a man. She could get a man, that's evidenced by Zolo and Brandon. Okay, and I venture to say she wasn't good enough for them. How about that? How about that? You know, it's always about the man not being um good enough for the woman. That bitch ain't good enough for half of who she dealing with. But now how about that? So, Sweet Tuesday says her last life seems like she's trying to distract her dummy gang from something. I thought, here we go with the clickbait, but she actually said something about Louie being 
rehomed about 20 minutes in the video after she stuffed her fat face with an unseasoned crab boil. <laughs> So, basically, everything she says is a lie. Child, she wouldn't know the truth if it came stamped in an envelope on her tongue, child. Like, I don't understand. Who raises a person to lie like that? I just don't, I just don't get it. Like, you couldn't tell the truth if it came signed and notarized, bitch. Ain't no telling what happened to Louis. I'm pretty sure she probably gave it to the damn shelter people. Or gave them away or sold. She probably sold them for a couple hundred bucks. Um, Instead of just saying, and, and listen, she ain't got to say a damn thing. But instead of saying something that made sense, like, you know, I, I just didn't want to take care of them no more. I didn't want to be bothered. I mean, that's just the reality. She got a lot going on. I don't want to be bothered. He need to be taken out for walks and shit. And I'm just too fat and lazy. <laughs> I'm just too fat and lazy. And let me say this. Because I had a... Um, let me make sure I'm still recording, y'all. I had made a comment. Off of straight facts, um, video. Hold on. <coughs> Hold on. Let me find it real quick. Sorry, y'all. One second. Let me. Okay. Okay. I don't think she used Olivia's name in her title. That's why I can't find her. Oh, she do hashtag her. So, shout out to Straight Facts. I'm not going to play the video. But I want to read my comment because... Straight Facts made a comment about Petconomics Savings Lesson 12 at Pet about Liz's life father being ain't shit, which could possibly be true. Maybe, maybe not. However, I said um, I wouldn't be so quick to say Tuna's father wasn't ish. Who's to say Stella even knows who Tuna's father is? Who's to say he tried, he did I should have said he didn't. He didn't try to be a part and sell a play games like Tuna. I always consider the other side when it comes to things like that because it's always easy to say a man ain't ish. Just my opinion. So I just wanted to, um, yeah, I mean, that was just a, a little, um, thing that I had to say because who the fuck even knows if this girl knows who her father is? And, you know, to talk about somebody that or only knows what's true about the situation. Because you ain't going to get it from Olivia. Big Nasty, tell Stella to decipher this and white explain it too. Even when it is made without malicious intent. Okay, so this is Texas laws on verbal threat. Because remember, um, she made the threat talking about they going to see her or something, something, whatever. Even when it is made without malicious intent, a verbal threat may be charged as a criminal offense. Verbal abuse laws in Texas recognize various circumstances under which a verbal threat is an act of assault. Under these laws, a threat can be charged as a misdemeanor or a felony. Woo-hoo. Um, furthermore, big whore, I know somebody told you that you can insinuate things that must be a Florida thing because baby Texas is about to be on your ass. Um, whatever that means, so. Um, I 
All right, let's move it along, move it along. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm trying to fast forward. Uh, so, Sweet Sensei says, she literally stuffed her face for the entire 40 minutes of that lie. AJ cries in the next room. Tuna stuffs face. Mm, it's late. You hear my baby just crying for no reason. Child. I, I peeked at that. I didn't. I, I, I actually. Whatever. Caught that part. But I just figured shit at this point. Who, what, who the hell knows what's going on? The bitch sit up there and she ain't tending to her child. So. Whatever, child. Doesn't go get up and go check on her alleged kid. Doesn't even bat one fake eyelash at the fact that he's crying. See, is there's I don't know. See, okay. Man, this is a real okay. I ain't gonna lie, Olivia. You got me stumped on this one. Like this is a real deal mystery to some. To others, they think they already know. I thought I knew. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to keep... For one thing, I feel like it's kind of hard to keep this up for this long. You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, she would have just... If it wasn't... I feel like... And this is what I think I know of Olivia. Who the hell knows? What I think I know of her is... Just like other things in the past like if she don't want to discuss them she just won't discuss them right so if there wasn't really a baby I feel like she would have just eventually stopped talking about it and then when people ask you know she she would just ignore it like she usually do I just feel like this is too long to carry on this this type of game even for her right because let's say in six months from now if she's still talking about a baby, I just don't think that you could make that up. I don't think you I don't think she's that good of an actress. Um and I don't think she would carry it on that long. Like So, with that being said, if she don't have an attachment to this baby, this is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. And I know there's mothers that are, you know, that have children that they have no bond with. Like, that they don't bond with, they have no real connection to. Um, It's just, it's just weird. And it is really a mystery. A mystery that I wish somebody actually knew what the real deal was. But... I'm not going to lose no sleep over a child. So we 28 minutes in. Let's see. <clears throat> so I should make this a part two. All right, y'all. See you on the next video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Look, um, talk to me in the comment section. Tell me what you